Hello, in this video, we are going to look at a simple class example. So what is a class? Classes are amazing. Classes allow you to encapsulate code and think of it like this. You have vehicles all over the world. You, let's say a game, for example, you have vehicles and you have a car that's a vehicle. You have a motorbike that's a vehicle. You have, let's say, a train that's a vehicle and a car has a speed. A motorbike would have a speed. A train would have a speed. A car would have a weight. A motorbike would have a weight a train would have a weight you, you see where i'm going here they have similar properties and they might have similar methods one method might be accelerate one more method might be decelerate you know very similar sort of methods and what we can do is create a class called vehicle for example and you'll have these properties and we just create instances of these class and they each instance have its own unique set of values but either it shares common functionality. It's quite a lot to take in. And if you don't get it the first time, go over the videos again, because honestly, it's it, it, the actual idea, the philosophy around classes is called OOP, Object Oriented Programming. And it is one of the, I'll say, pitfalls that a lot of new developers fall into. So if you haven't come across Object Oriented Programming and you get a bit confused, don't worry, that is just natural. So in this video, this is a simple example. In the next video, we're gonna actually look at creating instances of our class. So to create a class, pretty simple, just use the keyword class, and then you specify the class name. So I wanna say, horse, I'm gonna say vehicle, I'm gonna stick with that vehicle class. This is the, the example I always use when I'm teaching at university as well. So now you can specify like any variables. So these will be global variables. So for this variable, I'm gonna put speed, for example, and I'll set a default value of zero. So by default, it's you know, not, not going anywhere. Then you can define as many methods as you want. You can put multiple variables as well. I'm just gonna put one. So we've already done methods, but the process is similar. So if I just say display, I'm going to say increase speed and I'm going to pass in a parameter of increase amount and something else to note is all methods in Python have to have the self keyword at the start you won't actually pass anything in for the self keyword this automatically passes in the instance of the class itself. So you would just pass in increase amount, or if there was three variables including self, then you just pass in the two variables, not the self. Okay, so per colon in here, we are just gonna say self.speed. So this accesses the speed of this self, and we're gonna say plus equals to increase amount. So we just add it to we just add increase amount to speed. So honestly, this is a very simple example, and that's all there is to it. You can have more functions, you can have more variables, and you can have a few other extra features that we'll cover throughout this series. But that's this is a very simple example. In the next video, we're going to look at actually creating an instance of our class. And let's just run this just to make sure we're not getting any errors. Obviously, you won't display anything because we haven't done any prints or anything, but that's fine. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next Python class video.